Imagine a high-speed journey that whisks you from Helsinki's vibrant streets to Tallinn's historic charm in just 20 minutes. This vision could become reality with the proposed Tallinn-Helsinki tunnel, poised to be the world's longest undersea railway passage at approximately 92 kilometers. But beyond the engineering marvel, what complexities lie beneath? What geopolitical tensions, economic debates, and even conspiracy theories are intertwined with this ambitious project? Let's delve into the multifaceted world of the Tallinn-Helsinki Tunnel. The Tallinn-Helsinki Tunnel aims to connect Finland and Estonia, significantly reducing travel time and fostering economic integration. Estimated to cost at least 15 billion euros, the project envisions a twin city metropolitan area, enhancing collaboration and mobility between the two capitals. As of March 2024, Finnish developers are actively pursuing the project, with a notable inclination towards Chinese construction expertise. Despite geopolitical tensions and Estonia's reservations regarding Chinese involvement due to security and economic concerns, proponents argue that Chinese participation could expedite the project's completion. In a significant legal development, the Administrative Court of Estonia has mandated an environmental impact assessment for the tunnel's construction. This ruling underscores the project's environmental implications and the necessity for thorough scrutiny before proceeding. The tunnel's construction is not merely an infrastructural endeavor, it carries substantial geopolitical weight. Estonia's apprehensions about Chinese involvement reflect broader concerns over foreign influence and regional security. Economically, the tunnel promises enhanced trade, tourism, and labor mobility, potentially transforming the region into a significant economic hub. While the Tallinn-Helsinki Tunnel represents a transformative vision for the Baltic region, its feasibility remains a topic of heated public and political debate. Comparisons to the Feimernbelt Tunnel, currently under construction between Germany and Denmark, have fueled both hope and skepticism. Many argue that the success of the Feimernbelt Tunnel demonstrates how such ambitious projects can overcome immense challenges. However, critics note that the Tallinn-Helsinki project faces even greater complexities due to its longer distance, deeper waters, and geopolitical tensions. We'll come back to this important comparison a little later. Some skeptics have labeled the tunnel as overly ambitious, questioning whether the projected 15 billion cost is realistic, or if the economic benefits will justify the investment. Others point out that delays in planning and environmental assessments have left many doubting whether the project will ever move beyond conceptual phases. However, supporters counter that with Finland and Estonia's commitment to closer integration and the growing push for sustainable cross-border transport, the tunnel could serve as a catalyst for regional growth. Finland's success in securing European Union funding for feasibility studies has also signaled strong international interest in the project. What do you think? Can this ambitious vision become a reality, or is it destined to remain a dream? Looking ahead, the Tallinn-Helsinki Tunnel stands at a crossroads of opportunity and challenge. While it promises unprecedented connectivity and economic benefits, it also faces hurdles including environmental concerns, geopolitical tensions, and financial viability. The project's success will hinge on diplomatic negotiations, comprehensive planning, and public support. Now, while the Tallinn-Helsinki Tunnel may share some similarities with the Feimernbelt Tunnel, it also faces its own set of unique challenges. For one, the tunnel's longer distance, at around 100 kilometers, will be significantly greater than the Feimernbelt Tunnel's 18 kilometers distance. This increased distance would require more advanced engineering techniques, longer construction timelines, and potentially higher costs. To overcome this, the project could draw inspiration from other long tunnel projects, such as Japan's Seikan Tunnel, which overcame distance and geological challenges by using innovative tunnel boring machines capable of handling difficult underwater conditions. 
By employing cutting-edge technology and adapting lessons from similar projects, the Talon Helsinki Tunnel could manage the complexities of its greater length. Secondly, the tunnel would need to be built in deeper waters than the Femernbelt Tunnel. Deeper underwater construction poses significant challenges, especially in terms of tunnel stability and the risks of water ingress. One potential solution lies in using advanced tunnel boring machines designed to work at greater depths, along with reinforcement techniques that ensure structural integrity. Additionally, the tunnel could incorporate a hybrid approach, combining a submerged tunnel with sections of elevated or bored segments to reduce the pressure of building entirely underwater. This would allow for better control of engineering challenges associated with deeper waters. Due to these challenges, if built, the Talon Helsinki Tunnel is highly unlikely to include a highway like the Femernbelt Tunnel, but will most likely have a high-speed railway built with a boring machine similar to the Channel Tunnel connecting England and France. Perhaps the most significant hurdle, however, is the geopolitical landscape. The Talon Helsinki Tunnel would link two countries, Estonia and Finland, both of which have their own political and regulatory frameworks, not to mention the broader international context within the European Union and beyond. Geopolitical tensions, whether historical or contemporary, could slow down negotiations, regulatory approvals, and the financing of the project. To navigate this, the tunnel project would need to emphasize international cooperation from the start, Establishing a joint working group composed of government officials, transportation experts, and environmental scientists from both countries, and even neutral third parties, could help ease tensions and ensure transparent decision-making. Furthermore, involving international bodies such as the European Union in the approval process would align the project with broader regional goals, such as improving cross-border infrastructure, and reducing reliance on traditional transport modes. Lastly, building a project of this magnitude requires overcoming public and environmental concerns. Environmental impact assessments, particularly in relation to deep sea ecosystems, would be crucial to gaining public support and regulatory approval. Drawing on the lessons learned from the Femernbelt Tunnel, which has been closely scrutinized for its environmental impact, the Talon Helsinki Tunnel can implement similar measures to minimize its ecological footprint, perhaps even exceeding them with advanced technology for monitoring and preserving marine life during construction and operation. By proactively addressing these unique challenges through advanced engineering, international cooperation, and environmental stewardship, the Talon Helsinki Tunnel could not only overcome its hurdles, but set a new standard in ambitious infrastructure projects. The Talon Helsinki Tunnel embodies a bold vision to unite two nations through groundbreaking infrastructure. As developments unfold, it remains a focal point of engineering ambition, political debate, and public intrigue. If you found this exploration insightful, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about the Talon Helsinki Tunnel? Do the benefits outweigh the challenges? Stay tuned for more in-depth analyses of global infrastructure projects.